Hey everyone, Irashaimase, Privet Kaktala. Welcome to The Art of Comics. It's me, Andre Salazar. A uh, little update on what's going on. Um, documentary I worked on, Small Town Corky, is now in the can. I'm working on a pitch deck to start sending that out to some um, production companies. I'm not looking forward to that. I just want to do creative things, but. As you may or may not know in this business, you also have to be the business guy and like do market analysis and business stuff, which kind of sucks. So I'm working on the pitch deck, or I need to rather this week. Uh, I also need to cut a trailer, so I'm working on that. Uh, comic wise, all my comics are now on Webtoons, so go check out Webtoons. I have them there. Patreon is the place to go for everything. So uh, I would love it if you go see Patreon because I've got a lot of stuff there that is for free without having to pay for one dollar or if you want to pay a buck you can see everything everything i open up the vault so patreon really helps okay because i'm no longer an amazon affiliate amazon can kiss off okay so therefore let's talk about this joseph smith and the mormons uh this is done by noah van shiver is it van shiver van shaver van shiver we'll just say noah um, I got a lot of thoughts about this. We will go into them here forth with, here we go. Okay, the thoughts. Um, I'm going to be very transparent. I'm not a fan of Noah in general. I came into this not a fan of Noah. I've read some of his other stuff and what I, I just, I've never really, um, his sensibility never really connected with me, to be honest, and his art style um, doesn't connect with me either as much. Now, I do like indie art. I mean, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Chris Ware. I love Chester Brown. I love you know, all those drawn and quarterly guys, fan, the fanographics dudes, I, I love all that kind of stuff. But for some reason, say what you will, just this never grabbed me. Uh, maybe it's just the style, the drafting level, that kind of stuff, the cartooning things. So not a, coming in, not a fan, but I am a, we'll call it a fan or aficionado for this topic. I have done a lot of my own research on Joseph Smith and this kind of era, so uh, I came in with some knowledge on the subject. Uh, I wouldn't call myself an expert, but I've read multiple books. So when I got this, I'm like, okay, I gotta get this. I, I've known that Noah and his brother uh, were both raised at LDS Church. I think they both are not active. Um, his brother, of course, is doing like, I think it's called Cyber Frog. He's also connected with like comic skate stuff. I'm not really under, I'm, I try to understand what that is all about. You want to tell me in the comments below all about comics kit, you can. Um, I think, again, we get into these tribal things where we start picking a team, picking a tribe, and unfortunately it shuts down some conversation. So I don't know if anybody's bad or evil anywhere, but yeah, there's some miscommunication, I have a feeling. So let's get on with this book. So there you go. Not a fan of the creator when I went in, but want to read this. Now that I've read it, it took me about two days to read. It's a pretty hefty freaking book. It was originally going to be 200 pages. He asked the editors if he can have more, and so he made it 430 pages. So it's a big honking book. And I can tell you, since it took me two days to read how what I feel about it, yeah, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, I like people who do the research. A lot of this was well researched. It was well crafted. Uh, he had definite like plans on how he wanted to tell the story. All the kind of faith claims that the LDS Church makes that he talks about is done uh, through his kind of lens and through like like a dream sequence type of thing. Um, None of those events, like the angel Moroni appearing, uh, God the Father and the Son Jesus Christ appearing to Joseph, all these kind of things that happen with heavenly messengers and such, none of those are told 
kind of like in the first person or the in the in the I guess the third person narrative. They're all told secondhand at some sort of pub or through these kind of like a flashback recounting of them. So it's all told like through story. I think that was cool. The only issue with that is that he also does that, he, he doesn't use that same technique for some of the other things that one could consider as hearsay. There's some encounters that Joseph Smith, uh, that some would say it was alleged, had with other women. And those are told in normal, normal art, right? And so those aren't told like hearsay, those are told as though that really happened. And I guess the question is, some would say that didn't really happen. Now, my personal thought, I know this isn't about like personal thoughts on the freaking show about comics, but my personal thought is, yeah, he had these relationships. Were they consummated? Did he have sex with all these women? I don't know that. I would say probably not. There was probably a good handful of the 32, 33 people that Joseph was sealed to. He did have uh, a lot of them he probably did not have sex with. Some he did. That would be my guess. But again, who knows the truth? It's not me. It's not Noah. You know who does know the truth? Is Joseph Smith <laughs> and those women, right? So even when we're using like historical documents to verify things, history is his story. We don't know the truth. That's I love history, but you have to sprinkle a little bit of pixie dust on everything because you just don't really know what really happened. You can read some journals, but who says those journals are even real? Who says those are truthful, right? You can even have five people write the same thing. Well, that makes it more credible, but is that the truth? We don't know. Uh, that's the way I kind of look at everything is just be very skeptical, be very like hesitant to agree on anything. Um, so that's, a little, sorry, a little rant on that. Uh, yeah, here's the thing too. The art, again, didn't grab me in the beginning, but when you read something for a while, you start to kind of get into that art style and that into that world and it feels very natural. That's happened to me a number of times. Certain books like uh, Age of Bronze, I remember specifically in Berlin. Both of those are great books I have over there. Those books, I started out reading, I'm like, okay, this is a little, but then once you read it for 30, 40, 50, 60 pages, it starts like, that's just the way, that's the lens, that's the camera lens. We're now watching a black and white film or we're watching a uh, whatever. So you just kind of get into that groove. And when I got into the groove, I thought it was very, I thought it was fine. I do like some of the cool like backgrounds, the, the crayons that he uses in the sky. I thought that was kind of a cool technique. You know, he does a lot of these hatching marks uh, to show, you know, some depth. I dig that. I dig that a lot. Uh, I really like his background. I like his his landscape stuff a lot. The characters are well done. I mean, he's, you know, drawing these characters like on model, so to speak, where Joseph Smith looks like Joseph in the beginning of the book and at the end. There's no deviation of his physical look, his nose and such. Hiram, same with Hiram. Brigham, same with Brigham. Emma, same with Emma. So if you don't know anything about the Mormon religion, the LDS church, uh, is this the book to read? Well, probably not. But if you're interested in those things, it's very good. If you're interested in like that American history of that era, I think it's very good. Um, it is his take. He currently is not, pra I don't think he really wasn't practicing maybe when he's a little child but when his parents got divorced that kind of ended that uh and so he's but this was important for him to make because uh this is kind of like it's in his dna you know this is his dna this is your culture where you sprung from and so he wanted to tell the story i think it is again very well done it will get awards no doubt um because of the amount of research and history that is Put into this and uh, it's a compelling story of a man's life whether he was a prophet a charlatan somewhere in between uh he did die a death it was at the hands of a mob 
it was a violent death. He didn't die as an old man. He he got killed straight up. And so um, there's some tragedy there, you know. And some might say good riddance. Some might say, you know, shame, shame, shame. Um, you know, that's for you to kind of ponder. But um, the storytelling is very good. I, I can't even think of an element of the history that they missed out on. I felt like it was all covered pretty well. The the truth claims, um, the kind of divinity, the beginning, the spark of his character, we really kind of just do a little bit of. It's It's really focused on Joseph's relationship with his wife and these other members of this church and and society and how they work together and how he attempted multiple times to build a community um we don't go into you know a lot of the heavenly visitation stuff and i think that's because he wanted it to really focus on joseph the man the what the man's interactions were with man um which is very admirable it's very cool and in a way um might might be more palpable for people because now it's not you're not thinking about like oh you know here's more fantasy but you're actually seeing him talk to people um, i think the dialogue is very well done i feel like you know a lot of this is of course fabricated dialogue but it felt like it would be appropriate um, you know, he uses quotes when he can, but a lot of it is just, you know, he's having to write this stuff. So I honor that. It's a lot of hard work. I mean, this took a long time. I think he said around 10 years. It's a lot of freaking work. So I get it. I understand the, the mind of effort and I'm glad I bought it. So there you go. Not a huge long episode, but I thought it would be worthy of discussion. I was glad to buy it. It's, uh, 30 bucks for Ab- Abrams. Abrams puts this out, you know, when you can get Abrams, Pantheon, uh, Penguin, those companies to publish your comic, you're doing good. You're going to hit a lot of markets. Um, so yeah, any of those guys, that's, that's a whole nother ball game. So really, really cool. Congrats on, you Noah. if you, you're not listening to this, but <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. So there you go. Thanks for watching the video. Again, check out my Patreon. I'd appreciate that. We've got fun stuff. Oh, let me show you something cool. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Hang on. Come with me. Ah, look what I just got. I just picked these up. Yeah, heavy metal magazines. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brand new for me. We're going to cover these. I know heavy metal magazines. You guys, that's like your favorite freaking videos. We will do some heavy metal magazines, not because you want them, but because I want them. So there. Um, what else? I did some stand-up comedy. Go check out the stand-up comedy on my other channel uh, called, it's just Andre Salazar. You can find it here. And check that out because it's kind of fun little set, about 18 minutes. And people liked it. So there you go. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.